What's up guys, it's Joe Bunn with Bunn DJ Company here in Raleigh, North Carolina, and this is the QSC video series. Today, I wanna to talk to you about something that I get asked all the time, and that is, what is the best timeline for a wedding? So I wanna go through that step-by-step step and what we've found at Bun DJ Company to be the best timeline for you guys that are planning your weddings out there, all right? We'll start at the very beginning, and that's the cocktail hour. Obviously, everybody shows up, we're playing some background music, Drinks are flowing, appetizers are flowing, hors d'oeuvres are flowing, everybody's having a good time. Just set the mood right there. Next comes the introductions. We pretty much always do the introductions, even if it's just the couple, but normally we do everybody. And when I say everybody, even down to the grandparents sometimes, we usually introduce them from their tables so that they don't have to stand outside the room and be introduced. But we introduce the grandparents, they're acknowledged from their table, then we go to the parents, parents of the bride first, then parents of the groom, if there's ushers, we do the ushers, then the flower girl and ring bearer. And if there's a, maybe a junior bridesmaid or junior groomsman, they would go there. Then your bridesmaids and groomsmen, of course. Right before the bride and groom come out, we do the maid or matron of honor and the best man. And then of course, everybody stands up for the bride and groom entrance. Right after that, we always encourage our couples to go right into their first dance. Um, they come in, everybody's excited, they're standing up, they've gotten a huge you know, ovation, everybody's going nuts. It's critical, I think, that that's the moment for the first dance. We also try and get people to go from that dance into the father-daughter dance, and right after that, the mother-son dance. So knock out all three, boom, boom, boom. I think at that point, that's when you really have everybody's attention versus sometimes we do do them after dinner, but by that point, you've kind of lost people's attention span. So anyway, after the three dances, we try and do a welcome. It's usually by the father of the bride or the groom. Uh, then a blessing if the officiant's still there from the ceremony, he or she may do it, or it's gonna be an uncle or a grandfather or someone like that. And then of course, after the blessing, dinner, whether it's seated or stations or a buffet. After dinner is usually when we do the toasts. You usually have your maid or matron of honor first, then your best man, and then maybe the father of the groom or even father of the bride may speak. And every once in a while, you'll have your couple who want to get up and stand, welcome everybody, and thank them for coming and tell them to get up and dance. We always like that as well. So after the toast, we usually do the cake cutting. Now, I will say this. The cake cutting could also come before the toast, if you'd like, so that the cake can be cut, and then the staff there can move it off to the side and start plating it while the toasts are going on. It really doesn't matter which comes first, the toast or the cake, to me. It just works out better sometimes for the venue. So after the toast and cake cutting, it's open dance time. That's when it's my turn to shine. That's when I get to do my thing, get people out there dancing, partying, having a good time the rest of the night. The only other formalities you might have is if you do an anniversary dance. And then of course, after I do some of the open dancing and maybe an anniversary dance or a slow song or something, I'll do the bouquet and garter toss, usually about an hour before the departure. I do the bouquet toss first and then the garter removal and then the garter toss. Boom, 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 just like that. Then more open dancing, more partying, all the way up to the last song and the big sparkler or dove or bubble departure, whatever they end up doing. So that's the basic wedding timeline that we use here at Bun DJ Company. I hope it helps some of you guys that are planning weddings or DJs that may be planning weddings or people that are engaged. I hope it helps you all. Again, I'm Joe Bun. This is the QSC video series. I'll see you again soon. Thanks.